Jason, dinner's almost ready. I made your favorite meatballs. Delicious. Delicious. Can I have some sprinkles, please? Ooh, give mommy sprinkles. Justina's from California. We met out there. But about a year and a half ago, I was able to relocate with my job back to where I grew up. We just had our daughter, and being able to move back by my mom was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. It's mommy horsey. Mommy horsey, where's daddy horsey? Since we've moved to Illinois, not only is it hard to just adjust because it's a whole new state, but we basically live with Annette and Bill because we are here every single weekend. So it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I work for a great company as a general manager in a hospital. They've relocated me in the past. It, it's actually happened twice. And fortunately, we were able to come to my family. But uh, I'll be relocating from my job again. So we're still trying to get those details together. Do you want to go upstairs with Grandma? Go upstairs with Grandma. Say bye, Dada. We're going to go take a nap upstairs. Bye. For my job, with growth means relocation. And it's just, it brings a level of anxiety with it because we're still trying to plan our wedding. There is a lot of, a lot of planning that we need to get done. But at the same time, we have to do what we have to do for our family. So if that's what we have to do. The crazy thing is it could take us anywhere. Yeah. So. We're going to have to tell your mom. Well, I don't know how she's going to take that. Mom. She's either going to get mad at me or she's going to get just really sad. And I don't want to see her sad. And that's not news I want to break to my mom because I don't think she understands the, the, the detail and, and what really could happen that we could move to another state and to a different part of the country altogether. But it's something that we have to do and a conversation that needs to be had. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Spa. You must be Annette and Jason? Yeah, Perfect. we're here for the couple's massage. Excellent. Yes, I It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. yeah. My mom and I love getting massages. It's our alone time and uh, time to catch up. Well, I just love our mother-son time, you know? Yeah. Well, this looks nice. Yeah. All right. Oh. Good? Already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good. When Jason and I go out on a date together, it's a great way for me to spoil him because I can just see how hard he works. He's on his feet all the time, and he has his own family now, and so that quality time together is less and less. So I make a point to invite him to things like a foot massage or a couple's massage with his mom. Just let her know if the pressure's not enough, okay? You gotta make sure. Huh? He needs some really good pressure because he works really hard. Oh my gosh. You do? <laughs> I just spend a lot of time on my feet. On your but, feet? Yeah. It's important for mom to be able to spoil you like this, you know? <laughs> you do a really, really good job and I'm proud of you. I really am so proud of the way that you support your family, work really hard, that's why I, it's important to me that you and I have these times out together so that I can tell you those things. Yeah, speaking of work, um, there's something coming up here in the near future that would make us move. What do you mean? Move where? Closer to us? Like, to the city? Honestly, Chicago? it could be out of state again. And it's just, I have to do what I have to do. And I get that, but it's just, you don't know in my heart how hard that sounds to have you guys go away. Yeah. To even think about Jason moving away from me is just too much. I just want him to say, no, I'm not gonna move away from my mom. I just don't understand how that could even be a possible decision. I don't think that's fair. I mean, right now, Taylor's not in school. I can still get a promotion and climb the ladder a little more. I need to support my family. I know, it's just really heartbreaking to think about that. But it, this I mean, timeline is coming up quicker than I hoped. It could be a week, two weeks. What? Honestly. What do you mean, a week? A week for what? A week until they tell me, hey, it's time to go. 
and they, they pay for relocation and they send us and we just have to pack up. This is making me nervous. What does Justina say about that? I don't know, she's supportive, so we'd make it work, you know? I mean, we've been a good family to Justina. Doesn't she say, hey, look at what your mom and dad do for the baby, for us? Of course. How could it be? I mean, it's not going to be easy to pick up and go, right? No. Like, you might think about staying? I can't just leave my job. I'm not going to lie, Justina doesn't want to stay here forever. But if I were to tell my mom that, she would throw all the promotion, all whatever is making me better aside and say, oh, it was Justina's fault. And that's just not a place I want to be in or any of us to be in. I mean, I know you're devoted to your company. I understand that, I do. But you're not thinking about all of the pieces. You're not thinking about how much of an impact it will be to not have family close by, to not have me there. I mean, we would do what we have to do. We'd fly you out to see us. I mean, <laughs> I, we would come to see you. No, it's, that's not the same. You don't, you don't see it like that. Jason, seriously, I cry when you guys leave to just go home an hour away. I know. That's why it kills me to have this conversation with you. <laughs> but. It just makes no sense. It's not fair to any of us, honestly. Well. I just don't think he's considering my feelings as his mother. I think he's trying to do whatever he needs to do to be the man he needs to be for Justina and for Taylor. And I respect that, but I also think he doesn't understand how much it will break my heart. Well, if you tell them no, Maybe they'll want to keep you and think of something else. It, it's up to them what they want to do. Ugh. No, I am not going to let that happen. No, no, I don't think so. I think we'll have to just have a plan B. I will do whatever I can to get my son and his family to stay here in the Chicagoland area. I just don't think they're thinking straight when they say that they will consider a relocation again. We'll have to just come up with something else. Mom will come up with something. 